Hello doctors, this is Hamad from Hyphenite Health and I'm here to give you a demo of our platform, High Care Clinic. Okay, so first things, I'm gonna go to our website, highcare.clinic and this is really simple, it's just two words, highcare.clinic, right, and that's the website. You will be given a link to this website in the email we sent you, but if you don't have it, no worries, it's very simple, it's just highcare.clinic. Okay. So let me present a scenario to you, okay? I am a doctor, uh, Dr. Khan, from, I don't know, some suburban Mumbai, let's say Bandra, that's pretty cool, right? Um, and I want, to, I want to set up a clinic that's virtual and available to everyone without physically coming to me. So what I'm gonna do is I look around on the internet and I find this amazing platform that is available for free apparently and I look it up it's called high care clinic and I see that this is actually free so I can charge patients anything that I want to and it's a hundred percent mine to keep like I don't have to pay anything to these guys seems very 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 interesting so let me try it out what do I do I come to the website high care clinic I click on register a clinic it's right here it's very simple and I am redirected to this registration website. Okay, I'm going to enter my email, hamad at mailinator.com. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that this is correct. I'm gonna double check it because this is where my verification email would come, and which is compulsory for me to continue my registration. So I'm going to make sure that this is correct, hamad at mailinator.com. I'm gonna check the spellings gonna check where the um, at the rate sign is the full stop the spelling for this you know I I know this is not something that I should be telling you like I get it you know but still a lot of people miss out and they don't receive emails so I just thought I'll let you know um, anyway uh, I click on this which is uh, I confirm basically that I am registering as an administrator or provider um, and I click on this button called registered clinic right oh it says this has already been registered shocking let me try con at mailinator.com okay okay so this uh, this I get this confirmation screen that says thank you for your interest in high care clinic to continue registration process please click on the activation link sent to this email right the one that I entered okay so I open up my email right and I enter con at melinator.com and I get this email you see this okay right here it's perfect so I have this confirmation email that I received in my inbox in case you don't get this this is very like it's not a cause of worry just check your junk just check your spam it might be somewhere in case you still don't find it wait for a little bit like five ten minutes if you don't get it anywhere then you can reach out to us at um, support at highcare.clinic and we will reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours okay so assuming you get this email it says dear Khan welcome to highcare clinic conduct our health visits using a state-of-the-art platform anytime anywhere please click here to finish your clinic registration okay so I'm gonna click on this text right here the one in blue the hyperlink and oh wow gives me a confirmation saying your email is successfully registered let's continue with the registration and within a few seconds I am shown this page right it says set up subscription type okay so since I'm a standard user I'm gonna click on free enterprise is for organizations that want to set up multiple clinics for you know their users so we're just gonna ignore this for now we're just gonna stick to free click on next to clinic setup here I enter a clinic name this is gonna be con clinic right and then clinic identifier so clinic identifier is very important for you because when you have a patient coming in and they want to register they're going to look you up right they're gonna search uh, your clinic name and uh, this is a problem for you because if you don't have an identifier there could be a hundred con clinics right on the platform a patient would never know so when I enter a clinic identifier the patient can be told of that and they can look it up directly 
Also, you will be given a personalized clinic URL, which would come right here after the website, uh, www.highcare.clinic slash consult slash, and then your clinic identifier. Again, this would be really good for you to brand your clinic and for your users, your patients to know where to come to. Okay, so I enter my clinic identifier. It's gonna be Con Clinic. And this is just because it sounds cool to me. You can choose to keep it uh, as anything, right? Okay, one more thing. Um, make sure that when, you're, when your patients come in, they register using this link because patients can only register with one clinic and once they have, they cannot use other clinics or other URLs to log in, okay? Anyway, so I select a picture. It says, it, it asks me to click, uh, attach a clinic logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a file here. I am going to, oh, it says the URL is not available. Let me try Khan's clinic. Okay, uh, it's still not available. That's weird. Khan clinic. Dr. Khan Clinic. Let's try. Oh, that's not available. That's good. Okay, anyway, mm, ignoring that, we have uh, attached our clinic logo. Again, this is this is not a compulsory field. Like, this is not mandatory. You can choose to ignore it. But I feel like, personally, this would help me brand um, my clinic better and for users to recognize it more. So I'm going to attach a logo. You can choose to ignore it. Um, anyway, now I enter my mobile number right here, which happens to be 7045156900. Um, okay, and I click on the services offered at the clinic tab, right? So this is where you enter what services you provide, what kind of patients you uh, cater to. For me, that's going to be psychiatrists and psychologists, right? So I'm going to select both of them. And I click here on next to provider setup. Pretty easy so far, right? Okay, now... The two buttons at the top, one that says I'm a clinic administrator and the other that says I'm a provider and clinic administrator. So um, what's a provider? A provider is basically a doctor. Since we are based in America, uh, doctors are referred to as providers back there. So we've kept it as providers to make it easier for them to understand. But for you, all general purposes, just make sure you are aware of the fact that a provider is basically just another term for doctors. Okay, anyway, um, you have I'm a clinic administrator and this button you click on this when you are registering for a doctor you are an assistant you are an administrator you are just someone who's gonna look after the digital aspect of it and assuming you're not a doctor yourself and you're gonna take care of your own clinic since I personally I'm gonna take care of this clinic as an administrator myself I'm gonna click here on I'm a provider and click clinic administrator I'm gonna enter my first name which is Naman I enter my last name, which is Khan. I enter my username, which is Dr. Khan, okay? I enter a password, okay? So my password, as it says here, it must include a minimum of eight characters, a maximum of 15. Make sure you have a password that includes at least one lowercase character, one uppercase character, one number, and one special character. If all of these conditions are not met, then your password would be rejected. So make sure you know what you're typing and it falls under all of these categories. Okay, I've entered a password, which I know um, caters to all of those um, requirements. Next, I'm gonna enter my date of birth. Okay, so before I forget, you see this red asterisk right here, the star? This indicates that a field is mandatory, right? You cannot proceed without entering the information required. So date of birth is a mandatory field. So I'm gonna enter my date of birth. Um, one more thing is, since this is um, primarily for American doctors, we use the American um, standard for entering dates, which is month, date, and then year. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna enter mine as April 20th, uh, 1969. So I'm, instead, normally in India, you would put it as um, 20 dash or slash 04 uh, slash 1969, right? In here, it's the other way around. So I'm gonna enter 04201969, okay? Then I enter my provider type. I'm gonna select what kind of provider I am. So I am a psychiatrist, I'm gonna select it here. The NPI number field, this you can ignore. This is meant for American doctors. So not a concern for you. License number, okay. This is a mandatory field uh, and you need to enter your MCI number. So I'm gonna enter mine. 
this is not a real one because of course I'm not going to share mine but you get the gist of it um, make sure you enter the correct one because we are going to make sure that it matches with the database of the MCI so anyway um, okay now I have to enter the date ex of expiry which again has to be in an MMDDYY format so I'm gonna enter you know same 0420 and 2025 make sure this is correct again because we're gonna be checking for you to be, like before you continue okay issuing country would be India for me so I'm gonna select India from the list issuing state would be Maharashtra because Mumbai is in Maharashtra right and then since this is a provider registration or a doctor registration mobile number is compulsory right here it's a mandatory field so I'm gonna enter mine um, even in the previous one where like during your registration of the clinic you didn't have to I would suggest you enter your mobile number because it's even though it's not a mandatory field it would help us out when we have to reach you in case we have some uh, you know news or something that you would like help with or something we think that you would like I would suggest you enter it anyway again this is a short biography this would help people know about your clinic and yourself you can choose to ignore it uh, this is not a mandatory field I'm going to ignore it because um, this is just a demo but uh, I, I, if you want people to recognize you I would say just include a short biography again next is profile picture this is again not a mandatory field but I would suggest you enter it because it helps put a, a, a face to your name right and it helps make patients more comfortable uh, so I'm gonna attach mine right here you can choose to ignore it it's not it's not a big deal if you do but I would personally suggest you do okay time zone is auto populated you just click on it it says Asia slash Kolkata right here because that's mine I click on agree with the terms of service and I click on the payment setup button to go ahead right oh it says you've chosen the free option nothing to pay your clinic setup is almost complete please press the finish clinic button for below to proceed okay that's great I'm done with this pretty simple right yeah, I thought so <laughs> okay I click on finish clinic setup right here and oh wow I'm good to go I saved my password and I'm shown this acknowledgement uh, page in here you're given the URL that is specific to your clinic now I would suggest you save it in your notes make sure you have this stored somewhere because what happens is when you want to log in you cannot log in using any random URL right it has to be your clinics URL and it has to be the one uh, that your pa patients use for registering and logging in because otherwise it doesn't make sense they cannot reach to you okay so I'm gonna click on copy and it's it's copied I'm gonna save it in my notes okay now I have it stored um, since I'm relatively m more into technology I'm not gonna store it manually but you can choose to write it down in your personal diary by hand okay anyway moving on I click on the sign in button and I enter oh it's saved right here right dr. Khan in case you don't have it you can in case you don't have the save you know what you entered your username and password please enter it and click on sign in and we are the uh, we are the login uh, we've, we've logged in and we are at the dashboard right so here's a getting started um, box that says as a cl client administrator you can invite providers or patients to join using the invite providers and invite patients button okay as a provider you first need to set up your availability using change availability schedule button on the dashboard you can also invite patients to your clinic using invite patient button okay we know that we go ahead and close this in case you need to remember this just store it somewhere copy it the text or whatever it's up to you I'm gonna close it um, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do this is my dashboard basically and this is empty right now because I've just created this profile um, we have the change availability schedule button right here on the dashboard but it's also available right here at the very top where it says my name and my profile picture is supposed to be shown here I click on this and it says administrator and provider and the availability schedule button is right here as well so from here or from here I can choose to go in I'm gonna click on availability schedule and I'm gonna click on add time slots and this is basically me making my patients aware as to my times that I'm available so since I don't go to a hospital I'm just gonna enter one which is gonna be today's date it starts from today and it ends at I don't know March no this is 2021 is correct March April May 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 the 
May the 10th. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm going to make sure that this is less than 90 days, like the difference between the two days is less than 90 days because otherwise it just doesn't let you, let you proceed. And this is selected for working days, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I'm going to select a time which happens to be, uh, when do I start in the morning? I start at 11 p.m., right? I'm going to move my face, click on select, uh, move it back. I click on an end time. I click at, when do I get done? I get done at 10 p.m., right? So 10 p.m., done right so this is my schedule for weekends if i want to which i do um, cater to my patients on weekends as well i'm going to create a specific time slot uh, in case your timings are the same for week uh, weekdays and weekends you can just select all the days right specific days and then you can select all the days right here or you can select custom days you know monday thursday friday sunday right D depending on whenever this schedule applies to so I'm just going to click on working days because this is when my 11 to 10 schedule works. I click on add time slot and I'm good. Now I want to create a separate schedule for my weekends because I don't work as long on the weekends, right? So I click on weekends and it's selected Saturday and Sunday for me. I clicked on start time and I choose, um, I started 1 p.m., right? And click on the OK button. I click on end time and I choose 6 p.m., right? 1 to 6, that's a reasonable time. Um, I click on Add Time Slot again, and we have two time slots, two different ones for weekdays and weekends, right? Once I've scheduled all the different time slots that I would potentially need, I confirm it by clicking on this Schedule Time Slots button, and what this basically does is this confirms your availability schedule. Oh, it says it overlaps with an existing one. That's weird. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 to 10. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's my bad. Okay, so for working days, I'm going to select 11 a.m. to um, to 10 p.m., right? And that should be, that should help us out, 10 p.m., right? That's my bad. I apologize for it. I add on time slot, and I click on schedule time slots, and... I should be good to go. Oh yes. So what clicking on schedule time slots does is it basically just publishes your availability to your patients and to the platform. So the platform knows when you're available. Okay, so next, um, what do we do next? Um, yeah, we click on the dashboard again and we can look at the profile menu we have. I am gonna click on my view profile button and here I can look at my profile, I can change certain things, I can edit certain things, and I'm gonna make sure that everything is as I would expect. So let's just click here and see what all I can change. Okay, so a lot of things that I needed are not, um, that are required are not entered here. So, because these fields were not uh, available before, so I'm gonna just update all of these. My title would be doctor, gender would be male, office number would be, Mm, nine six seven one eight eight three three zero. Okay, my street address. Street address would be a hundred Mumbai Street. Uh, country India city would be Mumbai. Zip postal code four double zero 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 one. Right. This is just a random address. It's not real. You have to enter yours correctly. Uh, in case we have to wire you money or whatever, it's it's uh, accurately updated. Then I click on save changes, right? And I have to enter my password. And I'm good to go. Okay, great. Um, so uh, I've entered all of this and I click on dashboard again just to see where I'm at, what next to do. Okay, so on the dashboard, I have new new messages. I have no scheduled items. I have zero booked appointments, zero on demand consultations, zero patient volume to date. Okay. So I'm going to explain things to you one by one. So booked appointments would be a patient scheduling an appointment, right? That's pretty simple. On-demand consultation is when the patient wants a relatively quick appointment. They do not want to get, uh, like schedule one. And this is when a patient would normally come into your clinic and wait for you to, um, for basically for you to uh, cater to them when you're free, right? And they, they schedule an on-demand consultation and 
what what you'll do is when you don't have a schedule appointment you can click on this button right here that says waiting room and all of the patients that are in the waiting room in your clinic can uh, uh, can basically be shown to you right here and you can cater to the ones that you want okay anyway going back um, this is pretty simple no new messages we'll go to messages in a bit and this is an invite patients button right here okay so this is pretty cool I click on invite patients and I enter all the emails so I'm gonna enter one hamad.mailingnader.com right I can enter multiple just in case I want to reach out to a group of people that I have a list of patients I can enter all of them and I can send them invitations together right I'm gonna enter a sweet message short and sweet mm, hello welcome uh, sorry about that welcome to dr. Khan's clinic uh, I appreciate you joining me oh I misspell appreciate my bad ah uh, okay um, I know the spelling appreciate right okay you're joining me virtually right and that's it it's pretty short and sweet right I click on invite patients and it's sent right could be a hundred patients a thousand patients or one patient it doesn't matter and uh, like in the same way I can invite doctors right so you have a clinic you have multiple doctors coming in um, how do you get them to sign up very simple you click on your profile right here and you click on the invite providers button and you enter the email so the email could be uh, hkhan at uh, mailinator.com right and message would be hey welcome to my clinic and this is short I send it and an invite is sent again right okay so we're done with inviting doctors and patients what do we do next we look at the schedule page right you click on the button at the right that looks like a calendar uh, sorry the left side the left hand side menu and you view your schedule and this page would basically show you your upcoming schedule for for you know whenever that will show you all your upcoming video consultation and appointments that you have and you can click on history and this would show you all of the ones that you have completed or the ones that you've missed basically the ones that have that are in the past right um, you can you can look at the ones last week last month or you can have custom dates that you can look at pretty cool um, and that's about it then I click on messages and this is really interesting so we have an internal um, email service called secure mail and we call it secure mail because this is encrypted end-to-end -end on both sides and this is only meant for people in your clinic so you can reach out to your patients to other doctors in your clinic and this is secure and end-to-end -end encrypted so nobody else has access to it besides the people in your in, in the email right the people that you have emailed to or that have emailed you right so you click on compose and you send an email very simple you have inbox sent and draft and it's pretty pretty cool because it's it's a simple email application but it's internal and it's secure so that's good next we have the patients page right here at the left hand side menu I click on it and it gives me a list of all the patients that I have consultations with or the patients that have scheduled consultations with me so basically the people who have actually scheduled something and this would show me all the people that have registered with me right so like this one is for all the patients irrespective of whether or not they have any consultations yet this is only for patients that have consultations so it's easier for you to segregate right uh, again you have the invite patients button right here the same as the one that was on the dashboard that I showed you um, and that's about it um, next we have the providers page here it shows me my name um, you can add and invite new providers from right here like I told you and this would give you a list of all the providers that are in your clinic that you have activated so basically when a provider accepts your invitation they will be shown um, in this list which is inactivated providers and in here you would be uh, clicking and allowing them in case you're okay with them and the ones that you're not okay with you can just choose to ignore and this would also have people that were in your clinic previously but you have left and you want them not to have access to your clinic anymore so you can 
for okay so since this is myself i cannot do anything so the action is blank but for other providers in my clinic other doctors in my clinic it would have a button right here that says inactivate and that's basically digitally firing someone so you can click on this and they would be inactivated and be shown here right they won't have access to your clinic anymore okay next we have something that is my favorite feature of this platform like i love it okay so what is this this is consult now and what this does is basically it gives you access to the platform it gives access to a new patient without them registering okay so imagine this scenario a patient comes to your clinic and they are new right a physical clinic when you had it's basically them coming in and trying to register uh, with you but you know just to give um, just to get an appointment but they don't want to be a regular customer because they're just a random person that decided to stop by it's the same but virtually they can just come in there's a patient that reached out to you who wants to have a consultation with you you can enter their first name I'm gonna enter Hamad Khan again MRN if you have an MRN for this person good if not doesn't matter uh, this this is non mandatory so you can ignore it then you have a credit card payment required so if you if you take payments by yourself like you take payments by cash or you can take payments by sending them your uh, account details whatever it's fine it's up to you but here we have an option for the patients to pay you using our platform so you click on this it says credit card payment required and the patient would be required to enter their credit card we also support debit cards by the way so they would be uh, required to enter their payment information before they're allowed to proceed um, uh, we have found that uh, it's uh, the pay for payments UPIs are very very popular for doctors in India so we are um, currently in the process of implementing it for a platform in the future so you should be getting that very soon as a feature anyway next I click on this generate consultation link button and I have a link this is great so I can copy this link and I can send it to them to whatever but the simple way is I enter the email com, and I enter their phone number okay so you can just enter one you don't have to enter both you can send to either but I'm just gonna send it to both because I want to demonstrate how it's done I click on email link to patient and they can it has been emailed I sent text link to patient and sure uh, surely enough I have it received on my phone so I can just click as a patient I can click on that link I can enter my credit card information as you've requested or debit card whatever and I make that payment and now I can proceed right as a doctor what do you do you just click on join video consultation button so the patient has to finish their um, payment before you can proceed and this is just to make sure that people who have not paid do not get to go ahead and proceed um, and you click on join video consultation and since I have not completed my video consultation payment uh, the doctor could not uh, connect either because it says it will begin after the payment is completed which is good okay I click on okay basically you just click here and the video page would be shown right here and you can start the consultation okay what else do we have oh we are done already that's it it's that simple great so I can click on sign out and I am good to go right that's it that's about it that's all that there is to this system registering is very simple logging in using it all of this is very simple but it's one thing for me to demo it because I I've been using it for a while and it's another for you to use it as a regular customer so I would suggest once you're done with registration once you've seen the demo um, just play around with the system there's nothing that you can do that can break it so just play around check out what everything is like um, and if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to reach out to us at support at highcare.clinic and we will reach back to you in 24 to 48 hours right thank you very much I hope you enjoyed and have a good day